some left white and a coffee on the oven. Cheers. Yeah, vanilla latte. So, I had this discussion on the weekend with the boys about your brew or a bit of coffee, like, but you know, when do you wait for it to to drink it? Like, this, I'm gonna, if I burn my lip here, it's your fault. Now, see, I won't be able to drink that because that will burn. Some of the boys was like, oh, no, I have to wait for it to go cold. Some was like, no, I'll drink it as soon as because they like the feeling of getting burnt. So I'm like, Hey, is that right? Well, comment down below what you you do with your cup of tea or a cup of coffee, because you know I do like it hot. Don't get me wrong, I don't like it when it goes cold, but you know I can't bear myself because then what, what what am I gonna do with my food all day? Just not taste it. Just every time I drink something, feel that like you're licking sand. You know what I mean? So uh, let us know uh, how you have your brew. See, this is my type of. Uh, Temperature, not too hot, not too, uh, not too cold. So, it's gonna pop it. Just gonna finish this off and then get myself on a little walk. It's quite nice in the UK at the minute, so be rude of me not to, you know, make the most of the, the weather. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you then. Uh, so, I've probably picked the worst colour top to come to. Forresting, because I'm just getting flu by wasps everywhere, just following me like that. I absolutely hate them, so hopefully, we don't get stung. So, sometimes, yeah, it's just nice to be uh, come like places like these and just listen to the water flow, but. I don't really get the time that often to do so, so it's I'm just gonna stop and chill for two minutes. But I mean, what do you reckon on that water? Eh? I reckon Bear Grylls could drink that if you had a filter. Cause I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch that, me. Can't lie. So. Welcome back to another video everyone, uh, today's video we're going to hopefully be doing some swimming, um, I've got a package that I need to show you that we've recently got, excited, um, also Dave Lloyd's by me is offering, let me turn this on actually, that's better, hey, that light definitely broke, but yeah, uh, Dave Lloyd's by me is offering a 14 day membership for 14 quid, so I thought, why not, you know, um, so I've got myself in there, hopefully going to get in the outdoor pool and stuff like that, so I'm you know, excited to, to get swimming and, and finally learn what are the boys going to teach me how to, to use the correct technique, because I'm, I'm just an amateur at the minute, but, you know, as I've said down the road, we're, we're looking to do a triathlon, so, you know, there's no better, uh, no better day than today to, to get started with it, so excited, and hopefully I can show you a few bits if I'm allowed to film around the pool. It should be quiet late at night, so um, I'm guessing so, but I'll see you then. And also, we have indeed got the kit, as I've mentioned, so... My face look a bit, because of the thingy. We've got, so far anyway, we've got the hoop, um, what's it called? Swimming cap. <laughs> we've got the loop, 
which is like um, just a Vaseline really for like, around your neck and when I do get my wetsuit it's going to be for like under your arms so where you're rest stroking quite a lot um, obviously you're going to get a lot of friction burn and then we've also got the swimming glasses so excited to wear well I know what the other look like I might give you sort of a quick giggle because you do look stupid in them. You can't. You, no one can pull these off. So I, I quickly put them on for you, and you can have a quick laugh at me. So I'll see you in two. So there we go, Scooby Steve. If you if you know um, what's it called, Big Daddy off Adam Sandler film, Scooby Steve. So that's all I have to say. But I'm not even sure if this is the right, like whether you put them over your ears or what. I'm gonna have to Google it before I actually do go swimming. Just so, because my ears are just, they've got these little things on the back of me. Ow. Ah, they must go over your ears. And then you can tighten them. But they are, I think they're pretty cool, me. They sort of change to the sun. Like the lenses, and they are proper stuck. No water's getting in there or whatsoever. So, yeah, I can't wait to try them out. So, I feel like the, this speedo cap definitely goes over the ears. Tom Daly, watch out, lads, because I'm coming for your world records. So, controversial opinion, but this is the best fruit. I mean, there's a time and a place for strawberries, raspberries and all that, but the staple is the banana. Gonna have that, just a quick snack. But, again, absolute must of a crisp prawn cocktail. You can't go wrong. Also, flame grilled steak and coisa are up there. And just anything, salt and vinegar really, but cheese and onion, it's dead. Don't, don't come at me with that shout, it's dead. And also, you know, I'm a foodie, uh, back on me maintenance calories for the time being, so, yeah, we're on these, if that focuses, come on, 206 per half, so we are going to be eating the full pizza, so 400 calories, going in the oven, you can see, a lot of cheese on that, just what we like, it's not massive, is it size 9, size 9, 9 inch even, Um but yeah, we're gonna be having that now. I had the chicken curry earlier. Um, I haven't really eaten much today, and then we're gonna be on the jam bagels after the the gym. So um, you know, we're still having having fun with the, the food for the time being, whilst we're on higher calories. But you now we're gonna have to start chicken and up again when we go down to 2,500, I think. Just spent a few days in the heat of, if you know the UK, it's just that heat wave. So um, it was definitely full of barbecue. So proteins being high, um, probably less carbs than usual, maybe higher fats. So you know, but that, that's the great thing about flexible dieting. You know, we can uh, we can adjust, and you know, scale weight's pretty much still in line, still looking good, still feeling good, performing good. So that's what we want, and you know, we're gonna continue to do that. So. Yeah, I'm going to do this, get back to some more editing and we're going to see it in the gym when I get there. And a quick tip on this, going on about a gas mark with 7, 8 and then after say 5 minutes we're going to um, flip it to the grill just to get it nice and crispy on top. Um, so that's, what, that's how I cook mine, obviously you don't have to cook yours the same but they are pretty solid again. Oh, uh, by the way, I don't even think I mentioned it, did you? You get them from the Aldi. So, if you want to get yourself one and taste it, let us know what you think. So, uh, comment down below if you've already had it. Definitely a must, I think. And there we go, the final product. The crispy on the top, and then nice and, uh, what's it called? Fluffy on the bottom, that's why we grill the top, so yeah. Uh, the light's not the best in here, I can't lie, but it is nice. So, shower this down and I'll go for the swim, hopefully. So, I'll see you all there. So, first session wrapped up um, at David Lloyd's for the swimming, and 
It was a hard one, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Defo struggled. Defo thought I wouldn't struggle as much, but I think I've pinpointed it down to be um, the breathing. Um, it's just getting used to breathing, and I've noticed that as well since I've been doing boxing and stuff like that. Um, it's just me sort of recovery breath, as I call them, I saw what the technical term is, but when I'm you know, coming off the air, I, I just don't breathe properly. It's similar to in boxing, you know, I'll exhale correctly, but breathing to recover, you know, breathing whilst I'm defending and stuff like that, I just don't simply do so. It's just needing to, to focus on me breathing whilst I'm actually performing rather than just performing and um, not being in the moment and not being observant to these things, but at least I've pinned it down to what it is, so I think that's a positive anyway. But yeah, other than that, not too bad. Um, jumped in the steam room, saw and all that after it. Had a bit of a recovery session. Um, did a heavy leg day yesterday, so my legs are quite sore, so hopefully I've been for a few walks so they get a bit of active recovery in. It'll do me the world of good, so we'll see tomorrow when we wake up. But uh, that's it for this this uh, clip anyway. I'm sure I'll have more to update you with.